Carrie and you. What is that one again? <laughs> Elijah, are you there? Yeah. What are you laughing about? Oh, can't hear him. Can you hear me? Yes. Can't hear you. Can't hear me. How do you know? Exit full screen. Volume is all there. That's why. No, it's not. There we go. Don't tell me it was off when I recorded. Oh, if it was. Can you hear us? I can hear you. Can you hear me? Yes. Oh, shit. I just finished doing my recording. Did it you? went spectacular, but I have a little concern. Sylvia and I are going to get on with you. And for some reason, my volume was not on. It was X'd off. Do you think you just did it? Well, have, is your uh, is your video no, rendered yet? No, it's not. It's we recorded it. So how do I look at it now that we recorded it? At I have no clue. Can we do okay, that? go go into uh, how long ago was it? Because it's it might. We just finished like fifteen minutes ago, Kaylee and I. Sorry. How long was it? Oh, oh, that's why. Okay, so it's okay. We were connected to my AirPod. I had my AirPods in. Oh, God. <laughs> Elijah, do you know how much work I said to Sylvia? I don't know if I put, like, I put a lot of work into creating this. And then having the conversation with you was so exciting because what I did is let's come forward now to 2021 present moment. I've been so fortunate to sell my investment firm. And after being introduced to a gentleman 12 years ago, he showed me a new paradigm way of doing business that I was able to utilize in my company. So talking about the convo killers and the conversation cards was unbelievable. Oh. <laughs> and Christy and I did a radio show today. Like I do one every month called All You Ever Want to Know. Christy came on it as a guest. Mm -hmm. And it was fabulous. We talked about the new paradigm stuff and how us four women from Saskatchewan with the inventor from BC. Oh, if awesome. anybody isn't curious about that, we don't want them. <laughs> <laughs> I think I'm finally real. I mean, I've realized for a long time, Elijah, but I'm really realizing now is the time. Well, hundred so million bad. people out you, of work. You've got the time. But it must be me too. Yes. It must be. Yeah. Maybe I've blossomed in the last 10 years as well because <laughs> running my business and utilizing the tools, I can tell the story right from my heart. That's why it was easy to talk about that stuff because I told how we put a loony in a party pot and I got caught with interruption. And <laughs> uh -huh. You got the <laughs> stories. Awesome. So okay, I want to take a picture of this. Oh, can you? Okay, do that. I don't even know how to do this stuff, but. <laughs> so, sorry about that today, Elijah. I had made, like, can't you tell, like, I'm kind of made up a little bit? <laughs> oh, very nice. Very nice. Well, if I'm going to be the front end and be a speaker, I got to look good. Right. Okay? Yeah. <laughs> you look great. <laughs> Thank you. So get this, we did the hub factor last night and Christy brought her stepdad, her son, and Sylvia brought her husband. Oh. <laughs> so Elijah, you know Sylvia and you know her daughters. Yes, I so do. <laughs> what, do you, hey, what do you do when a guy goes, I have no question. <laughs> <laughs> I, I was, I've only been with one person who is kind of like so disassociated that they didn't want to participate to any degree, right? They don't even want to ask a question. So you still do it anyway, right? Like oh, yeah. we did yeah. it anyway. You know what I said to him? I go, okay, well, you're going to pick cards like the rest of us. Guess what? We'll figure out your question for you. Right. And that's what he's used to. We find out that his secretary, his office manager says, don't touch that. Don't touch that. So that's what he's used to. So, <laughs> but he's the boss. He's the boss. Yeah. yeah. He owns a hearing aid company, hearing company. Oh, that's funny. Yeah. So that's <laughs> hilarious. Cause so one of the other guys says to him, Oh, she tells you not to touch it. Is she like embezzling money from me? He goes, Oh, I hope not. 
anyway, it was a really good experience last night. And now Sylvia and I are doing a Habitat for Humanity Families. We're doing a Money 101. Tonight is Vision Board. We finish our finale is a Vision Board. Just a small one, right? Okay. How many people are in that? Uh, well, we had the most we had was five. But tonight we're only having two or three. Okay. Just didn't work out for all of them to come. But now it's the start. It got us creating a program. And what I'd love to do is somehow get that to social services so that we can start utilizing these tools so that people don't run out of, so they're not, they can get off social services. Yeah. It's so shaming, right? Yeah. And yeah. not everybody wants to be there. No, no. <laughs> no. Elijah, you look younger now than when I met you 10 years ago. Years ago. You do. <laughs> So I don't know what it is. Good for me back then. I... <laughs> you do. You oh, like I love the way. Oil of the way. I I think it's the lighting. I think. Uh... Oh maybe. Oh yeah. Just what if you just said thank you? Thank you. That's wonderful. That's. Yeah. I talked about type four personality, and I said our inventor and our map maker and our originator. He totally is a type four. And often the type fours are behind the scenes, creating, making this stuff happen. And then it's like type seven shows up and they're going, let's get this out to the world. Good, good. <laughs> okay, so get us on track. Anyways, um, our last conversation that we had on Thursday, I know we had all agreed to do four more sessions with you. But we were wondering if it would be more beneficial to do all four of us together once a week. Is that overwhelming on your behalf? Well, no, it's just, it's different. I mean, it's, um, I mean, that's what I did the first time when I was training, but I wasn't training for the same. Like, I think both is good. Mm -hmm. um, I mean, depends. I guess my, my income would go down 75% unless I charge more. Yeah, right. Yeah. I mean, I'm kind of counting on, you know, um, that. Otherwise, I, or we could, you know, I could put it towards other things, I guess, doing more offline work. Yeah. So I wouldn't feel bad about charging you because there's right. quite, a few, quite a lot of offline work to do that. Yeah, or here's, here's a thought. Like what I'm thinking is, Maybe it's two call. We each have two calls individually, and then we do the group. And then, because what, because then I think what's happening, Elijah, is you're seeing kind of, because you're looking, you're talking to a promoter, the builder, you know, the organizer. Mm -hmm. You're yeah. speaking in that language to each of the parties, right? Right. And then bringing it all together. Because we realized last night, we're going away at the end of May. We rented a cabin for the four of us just to go and hang out and to Connect. really see what our focus is going to be nice because we're going oh here's a mother's day thing doing plants here's a father's day thing we're going no we need to stay focused and streamline yeah streamline it or streamline it more so yeah. that's where i think i don't know that was just a thought i really like the call with the four of us but if we could do that even once a month for sure i i mean have our four-way call that would be good yeah um once a month or i mean i would see even more often than that right i mean me too yeah. twice a month yeah like yeah. i think we really twice need to meld mm -hmm. yeah and like meld in the system yes right yeah, yeah. Um, okay i i, I re like I, I know myself i really enjoy the one-on-one -on -one because i mean it it's it, it is it's learning for me right mm -hmm. it's putting things mm -hmm. in practice and all of that yeah. but i really I, I like the all four of us. Together. For sure. Okay, then why don't we do that? Like, the, that's why Sylvia thought, and I thought, I know we said we're going to continue, and then I got going with, I have to get the speech done, I'm getting makeup done. I totally forgot. That's okay. So I apologize for that, but I'm excited to continue going. Um, yeah, we can leave it as is. Let's leave it as is. Let's just maybe on our call on Thursday, then everybody's like, we'll pick their time. Like, I think I'll still be good for Wednesday at noon, no problem. My time, noon. Oh, and that'll okay. work still for me. Yeah. Oh, yeah. As still, still works. 10, 10 o'clock my time. 
Okay, so we're taking a bit of a break this week then, and then going back. Okay. And then and we're adding in to a call every two weeks for to the for the four of us. I think that's great. Yeah. And we're just finishing putting financing and stuff together. So we don't need like our bank is set up. We just got Carrie just has to sign something yet. And then we're able to e-transfer you for the because you haven't got paid for two of the girls yet. Yeah. Yeah. So oh, Sylvie and I paid. But then we have to be refunded because we made a decision that the hub factor, the okay. hub could pay for it. So I got it. I got it. Perfect. So Elijah, you know, I said to Kaylee this morning, she's so cute because she called herself an employee. And I said, well, yeah, you know what? Okay. See you later. Okay. See you know, get rid of that employee mentality. You come here with an entrepreneur hat on and think big, man. Yeah. So what? You're a summer student. Yeah. So her, you know, her and I were talking, she's back into the grind now with us and really evolving through it. So she's hired a third of her time is hired by LR. And then the two thirds, which is her 10 hours, because it's 15 hours a week, her other two thirds hours are for the visionary hub. So she's going to be our PR slash marketer. Good. Awesome. So I said to her, I said, make us shine girl, because I'll tell you in the future, when you see all of this stuff come out to the world, you're going to say, I was a part of that. Yeah. So no, it that's... kind of shifted her thinking, right? Instead of just being an employee. Well, and I think she probably had a little bit of uh, disgruntlement by not being part of the original four, right? Like that, uh, I'm sure I'm sure she thought, cause I thought, I mean, I mean, but I get it. It's a, like when a student is is brought into the, the teacher's, you know, staff room, it's very different, right? You gotta make, yeah. understand where people are at it, with their age yeah. and their, yeah. yeah. Yeah, that's right. And I said to her, I said, cause I said, I'll tell you one thing. I said, Christy showed up and she's willing. She comes from Regina. She is so willing to put a lifetime of whatever into taking this out to the world. So as a 20 year old, it's like, oh my God, a lifetime? How could you even be thinking that way? Yeah. So it's, it's all really good. And she'll come in as an ally or as a tribe or something like that. Well, I, I think definitely a member, right? I mean, she's, she's gonna be part of the yeah. 144. And yeah. again, I think the, whether in whichever way the youth team comes in, I, I, I would yeah. imagine that she's I mean, looks to be, would be the youth leader in a sense, right? Oh, if she wants to big be. time. She was the youth leader at her high school. Okay. Yeah. So it fits her. Like she doesn't like kids, but youth, like they did a, what was called a junior achievement. It was entrepreneur class. Uh -huh. So we're doing, Elijah, I'll just give you a little rundown. We're doing a summer program for kids. Awesome. Carrie's already starting to create some curriculum around it. So today I go to this girl that does my makeup for this. And she, she was in Vancouver going to school for makeup. She's a Yorkton girl, type seven in the Enneagram. And she said, I said to her, I said, you know, you as a local entrepreneur, if we bring these kids together and talk about entrepreneurship, they can get inspired by people like her. So she's two doors down. Kaylee could take the group of girls and take them next door and let them hang out in her space and let an experience be created there, right? Mm. So we, that kind of opened things up today. The other thing is because Kaylee's PR slash marketing, she likes to be in sales. Mm. So when Kaylee was a little girl, she sold John Deere Barbie dolls. Her mm. uncle Larry ran a John Deere and he goes, you sell these Barbie dolls, you get a toonie per Barbie doll. She, they sold out, they couldn't find any more. Mm -hmm. So she's very much about sales because it puts you more up front rather than being behind the scenes. Right. So I said, well, PR kind of is all that. So we're thinking, you know, if we went to businesses and different things, if we could create just the hub factor itself and refine it and invite these organizations, these companies to bring their staff in parts or all yeah. and bring them into the hub factor or we take the hub factor table to them. Sounds great. And, you know, it's 50 bucks a person. And this is the experience that your team is going to have. I think if we start doing something like that, that might be good. Like Christy says, well, we can take it to them. I said, no, originally, if they're from town, let's allow the team to leave their space and come into our space. Very different. Mm -hmm. I think it's better, way better. It's way better, Elijah. And then once you get here and we set up the upstairs the way that we need to do it, that's going to even make a bigger difference. So, yeah. Okay. Okay. So that's Sylvie and I just wanted to have a chat with you and just, you know, say that, yeah, we're still going forward, but let's just take this week break. I'm feeling a relief. As long as I know that video is all work, Kaylee's going to check on it. Okay. We'll send you a copy. Okay. 
So you, you, you don't need any editing, you're saying? No. It's fine as no, it is? No, you know what? I just spoke I just spoke right from the heart. And the good thing is on Zoom, Kaylee got the Zoom going with the slides, and then I had my notes on the other side. Okay. So it kind of kept me on track, and then I would go with my stories. Awesome. Awesome. Yeah. And, and I mean, even the conversation killers, it was so easy to talk about them. And I said, and just so you all know, at the end of the conference, you're going to get a set of the 30 conversation killers. And here's my contact information. I put the visionary hub. So we can create a video, you and I, Elijah, that I can make a sales pitch kind of. Yeah. To give it to them. And then this is kind of some training. Awesome. Okay. That's good. Awesome. Great. Great. Okay. I look forward to seeing the video. And, awesome. um, and I guess I'll see you guys Thursday at two, my time. Is that right? I think it's two your time. Yeah. Okay. Yeah. Let me just confirm just one sec. Cause I got so many different messages coming here. I'm off to the city this weekend. So, uh, works for me. You're right. We are on at 3 PM our time. So yeah, two your time. Okay. We'll see you then. Okay. Bye. Hey, Elijah, have a great rest of the day. Thank you. Okay. Bye.